I guess uh, somebody said uh, one of the first terrorists of modern history was Gavrilo Princip. Uh, for people that he was representing, he is a hero. For historians or for, at the time, empire, uh, he was a terrorist. So, depend how you see which side you're looking from, how do you flip the coin, I guess you're gonna make up your mind. The same thing in this newer history, Bin Laden, you know, we're not gonna get into him because he did a lot of bad things and uh, many people die because of that. But I'm sure that many of them who supports him sees him as some type of mortar or whatever it is, hero. The same thing is with the kid that goes with a backpack in, I don't know, Tel Aviv into the bus and explodes. Some people look differently. So uh, today it really caught my eye uh, one uh, investigative reporter, his name is Ali Winston, who did a piece on uh, Yasmina Vujic, uh, my country fellow. She's a little bit older than me, but she's a scientist and she is as good as it gets. And she's a person that comes as many were coming after Nikola Tesla to America to make this country great and big and strong and powerful in certain sense, but mostly with their intellect and their charisma and essence, which those people were bringing with them. They are true Americans, Americans who came here to make this country better. With their own knowledge, with their own power, they participating in community and doing as best they, this country gave it to him, opportunity, and they proved it. What's just, how should I say, something that makes me so much, uh, how should I say, proud of her. But again, she is uh, labeled and uh, headline is basically done uh, but by this investigative reporter, Ali Winston, and the piece is called Berkeley Nuke Profs Side Gig, Far Right Serbian Activist. And it's on the radar and it's some kind of, I don't know what kind of, you know, this thing is, you know, and I don't know about this reporter. I a little bit read about him and uh, I'll probably kind of share that with you. Good looking dude. And my question is, what's your gig, Mr. Ali Winston? <laughs> I can see Nuke Prof side gig. You kind of discover something, you know, that's uh, gonna offset Corona, that's gonna offset all this bullshit that's going on in this country, Coll collapse of this imperialistic, uh, how should I say, force of the planet that makes everything turn, spin, and happen on its own call. But to be fair, you know, we have to kind of read all this article and go one by one. And I'll just share my, how should I say, emotion, my sentiment. I will definitely be biased. And, um, but I'll try to prove my point of view because you'll see that this gig of Ali Winston does not prove pretty much nothing to me, but um, yeah, it did react in my feelings and emotion. So basically he's starting like, it's really alarming for someone who is in position to shape the next generation of nuclear security scholars to hold such extremist views, said one critics one critic on campus. So I guess Ali Winston was talking with somebody or somebody was calling him and saying, listen, I want to tell you something. There is alarming for someone to hold such a position and he is extremist. Okay, so let's see how extreme this lady is. And she is a 
grandmother, I guess. You know, she 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 has a family and so much about her to know. So, a prominent nuclear engineering professor in California with the influence over million of dollars in federal research funds is also a prominent player in Dveri, a far right wing party in Serbia that publicly supports a convicted war criminal among other extremist extreme extreme stances. Okay, sorry about my reading. So the first question you know that he raised you know that she is uh, pretty much controlling uh, over millions of dollars. So should we give her you know a few pennies here and there or less money or who is such a dumb person to give over a million dollars to someone to control in a research? Or they have a, such a great scientist, you know, that they say, you know what, we support you, we like what you're doing, so here's the funds, please continue your research and your work, because so far you've been proven doing a good job. That's the way I see it. Um, now, you know, war criminals. What's, what's a war criminal? I, I mean, I, for a long, long time, I was trying to think about it, you know, from Genghis Khan, uh, Alexander the Great, Napoleon, Rome. Did they have war criminals? How about the United States? Does the United States has a war criminal? Is it starting a war, a crime? I mean, uh, selling that bullshit of democracy, you know, spreading around the world and uh, dropping the bombs left and right? There is no such instance of uh, crime there. I mean, Assange and, you know, that Manning thing, you know, with da -da 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 -da, you know, civilians. Do I have to testify uh, how many innocent people I do know, you know, being uh, slaughtered in Yugoslavia, where I'm from? When was compact country? When was put on a plate, you know, to be experiment how to fuck up the country and divide? And rule after that? Do you know uh, Mr. Ali Winston a little bit about that? Probably, I don't know how old are you, you know, but I don't think so, that you even remember that there was a war in Yugoslavia. Now you digging, researching, and pulling the history that probably the, the, the winner wrote down and put who is a war criminal. And I'm going to testify one more thing. There is so many war criminals on Serbian side. So many. Not even enough to be tried. Not even uh, compared to Nuremberg case. But the problem is they were fighting against uh, people that they are their brothers. So when you think about genocide, which is absolutely ridiculous and pathetic word, because of one thing, this was worse than genocide. What happened in Srebrenica, Bosnia, Croatia, Serbia, Kosovo, it's worse than genocide. For simple reason, because people were put against their brothers and sister to commit their crimes. It was like in fucking Rome, where they were put, you know, to, to fight, whether it's some kind of animals or, uh, uh, you know, being outnumbered, you know, and people would be cheering. And then they would be calling, you know, somebody to be butcher or to be master of defeat or who knows what. We all watched the fucking Gladiator movie and we cheered and we loved it. But the brutality and blood, yeah, the blood is all over the place. Are we forgetting that the United States was established on uh, genocide and uh, slavery? Do we want to rule that out? But again, absolutely agree with you. There is convicted war criminals. But the problem is not enough, not everybody, not everybody. Like, for example, one of the greater war criminal it's Madeleine Albright. 
Bill Clinton, that Wesley Clark, they're fucking war criminals. In my judgment, if I would be sitting as a, call it, you know, some kind of uh, uh, a jury duty, that's the way how I would see him. But the problem is we will never see him. We will never see him in justice court. We will never see because, you know, they just say, fuck the court, man. We are the court. Hag? Ah, oh, no, we're not going there. We're just deliberating who's going to go there and what they're going to say and who's going to lay down for what. After all, all those participants in that war were more or less simple puppets. Puppets of the Western uh, experiment called let's bring some bureaucracy, uh, let's go bring some democracy and bureaucracy, I guess, and corruption. You know, so one, once we divide, you know, we will rule. But what I want to say is um, first, you have to learn the basic, you know. It was crime against sovereign country to drop the bombs. Everything else, it's called shit hits the fan. So when that happened, hey, everything goes, everything goes. Rape, stealing, uh, torture, burning, everything goes. And you know what? Serbian people did that. But they did it against other Serbian people against Croats, against Bosnians with a different religion. But they are brothers and sisters. So it's worse than genocide. So there is no reason to go in that bullshit word. And you know, are you accepting that or not accepting? Of course accepting. Killing one person is fucking genocide. There is no reason to kill 5,000 or 10,000 to justify genocide. Genocide is stupid because the world is stupid because you then you diminish the fucking Nazi who did genocide against different religion, people and everybody else. So, you know, it's insult towards them, but fine. I have no problem with that. And uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, scientists, uh, we have to say, you know, what you said here, um, Yasmina which uh, has occupied a uh, uh, position on the Berkeley admission and diversity committee, and she helped dish out at least 10 millions in research funds at the multi-university research center, which is underwritten by the U.S. Department of Energy. So, Ali, dish out 10 millions. You know how much money you will spend on the fucking bombs dropping on Yugoslavia? 10 millions? No, dude, that, that's just one shot. That's just one shot. You know, and guess what? They didn't co kill those convicted, you know, uh, war criminals. They were, con they killed uh, innocent people. There is, there is a name, I'll, I'll teach you, the name of Milica. Milica is, uh, was four years old. Uh, there was a passenger train. There was uh, all kind of convoys of civilians that had been killed by bombardment. If you want to be investigated reporter, that's a good story, man. That's a good story. Because, you know, when you discover the real truth after so much time happening and passing by, then you're doing something. This, this piece. <laughs> Are you a student, reporter? You, you've been working for New York Times? No shit. I don't think so. You ever work for New York Times? Even the New York Times is shitty newspaper today. So why should why should I even think? But let me tell you something. I know two prominent uh, scientists in nuclear engineering. One was coming directly from Nazi Party with others, helped uh, by US forces, and helped develop the atomic bomb that landed on two cities in Japan. Oppenheimer, whatever, you know, whatever it is. 
Okay, so they came not being on Nuremberg's stand and being convicted as a war criminal because essentially, you know, they were participating in killing, you know. It's the same thing like a plumber, you know, or electrician in this gas chamber, you know. I mean, he was participating, doing his job. But the other, uh, how should I say, uh, scientists, prominent scientists in nuclear engineering, the second one that I know, it's Yasmina Vujic. Yasmina Vujic that you are attacking. But she is not affiliated with the Nazi party. She is affiliated with the right-wing party in Serbia that so far did not commit any crime against civilization. Yet, maybe they will, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that party. I don't uh, share their values. But as we know, there is always, uh, who said it, you know, George Carlin, you know, like in traffic, in front of you is moron, behind you is maniac. There's always people around us that have their own views and they're kind of cuckoo. And do they have their part? Uh, do, they, do they have fair, how should I say, uh, uh, chance to exist in this world? Or should we commit genocide against all assholes that exist on this planet? which you, are you referring or are you kind of concerned about that, that those people should not exist? If you're saying that right-wing parties and uh, extreme right or extreme left, where are you at? Seems like you're kind of liberal, you know, in that sense. So let's kill and fuck up a uh, right-wing party, which I'm not, which I'm not. I'm somewhere in the center and looking what the maniac and moron in front of me doing and trying to stay afloat safe so knowing how much uh, Yasmin, yasmina did for uh serbia for people in serbia i'm so proud of her i mean she is showing me patriotic uh, real feel with her deeds what she did and i'm not sharing her values but I know what she did basically for the Serbian people, for the community, for diaspora, for the power of diaspora, for presentation of really who we are. Free people. That's what we want to be. We want to be free people. We don't want some asshole telling us, you know, what to do, how to do, what to do. That, that's the thing. And we want to have our own peace, not to have West or East you know, pretty much telling us, you know, where we're supposed to be or who should we be for. That, that's the way how I see it. Again, it's all my personal opinion. Um, so what you're saying here says, um, expert says, varies assignation to parliament and formal politics, even a country governed by right-wing party. The fucking government is ruled by right-wing party a representative or broader acceptance of previously acceptable ideological stances throughout Europe. Well, guess what? Today is the president of Serbia is Aleksandar Vucic. It's US puppet, puppet. You know, he's dealing, dealing and trying to deal and sell against all international laws. He's trying to create basically uh, 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 to secure UN place for southern Serbian province of Kosovo. For which, again, I'm going to tell you, I'm not standing nowhere. N neither I, neither, no. I don't give a shit. I, all I want, you know, basically peace and better, better time, more sun for my people. People that are over there and struggling. But, uh, you know, we're talking about, what are we talking about? Are we talking about, you know, is it right to have the same part of freedom, just like we have here in the United States, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of opinion, and not to be sanctioned, and not to be, uh, how should I say, uh, instrumented to be a puppet and robots and do what to do, that's the problem. That's the problem. 
I mean, if you fight for the rights of the left, uh, how do you don't give those same rights to the right wingers or whatever it is? So basically what uh, this guy is saying is um, this is what kind of, you know, bothers me in this journalism. But which involvement in the group has raised alarm among some colleagues? Raise some alarm among some colleagues and peers in the nuclear engineering field because it is a foreign political entity that oppose long established US policy in the Balkans. Oppose long established US policy in the Balkans. Which affiliation with Vary prompted at least one individual, at least one individual, to report her affiliation to to the Department of Energy as potential security concern last year, according to the source with direct knowledge of the situation. You have sources, you have some kind of proofs, you have something, okay? Of course, you don't disclose your name, you know, of your sources and all the things, but here it is. It's a bullshit. It's a crap. So now, I want to go back to the most important sentence in this uh, a part where you say oppose long established US policy in the Balkans. What is a fucking long established US policy in the Balkans? Hmm? And who is the individual that makes that report? Is an expert on long established uh, situation in the Balkans? Is it just a critics? Is it about work, jealousy, or attack? for establishing position and maybe kicking out Yasmin Aguri, so maybe they can dish out some money. I really don't know what where, where the problem is. But, you know, I, I need to kind of a little bit pause on that long established US policy in the Balkans. What the fuck, man, you know? World police? What's the policy? Tell me, what's the policy? Freedom, democracy, or a colony? Empire, you know, kind of needs more resources, you know, kind of go over there, get closer, you know, to to Russia, to surround Russia, you know, with friendlies, whatever it is. I don't know. Anyway, an open letter to U.S. Berkeley Chancellor Carl Christ Christ was also published online last year, raising Vujic's involvement with Vary and the party's extremist views. Still, no official action has been taken by the university. So, the action that needs to be taken is, what the fuck is going on on Berkeley? I mean, we had all those protests, freedom of speech. I mean, Berkeley was famous for certain things in history. Now, what do we have? You don't want to take uh, some people, you know, some speakers to go over there, neither comedians, you know, to speak to talk over there? You guys causing uh, riots over there because you're extremist left? I, I really don't know. That That's what I'm trying to see, you know. So, uh, you're writing, there is no indication that Vujic believe and political convictions have influenced her decision making at US Berkeley's or her treatment of people who may be part of the group very loads. But three people familiar with which academic work and involvement with Vary said her role in party with aggressive stance towards past Serbian atrocities during 1990s, dissolution of Yugoslavia in virulently anti-LGBTQ position has raised discomfort on campus. Oh, shit, man. Campus cannot sleep now, huh? cannot sleep of someone's views, you know, what they think and what they feel about it. That's amazing, you know, that's amazing. That's the same thing, you know, like you say, you know, well, I am a scientist, you know, but I still believe in God. Do I have right to believe in God, even that I'm working with science? How, how does it go that? I mean, who gives the rights uh, what you have to do or what you cannot do? That That's where I'm kind of... Uh, uh, problematic, you know. So, <laughs> and atrocities, dude, atrocities were on all sides. Ah, it was lovely. 
lovely and really bloody bloody like you would, you couldn't believe the hate you know i guess it's invented over there and i don't know if ever ever any kind of love will be brought and love has to be brought to justice you know to see what kind of justice is you know we loved each other uh, for so many years we enjoyed our life then you know some foreign entity you know start kind of fucking around you know and saying you know well you you need to do this and you need to do that and we will support you and we will we will give you our general to train you yeah they are retired you know but fuck it you know just go over there and clean the general area of all serbian population you know because they intended to have a big serbia anyway ali you don't know pretty much shit just reading this but you would need to write another article, you know, and be more a little bit involved. But anyway, which did not respond to a repeated requests for comment for this story. I'm giving you a comment. And that's my excuse to making this video. I'm reading and I'm giving you a comment. For intellectual like Yasmina Vujic, why she would give you any answer to your bullshit, man? You know, I, I don't know even if she would uh, comprehend, you know, what the fuck you want to trying to say. What are you trying to say? That she going to sell uh, secrets to Russian or to Dveri? Are you saying that? They don't need Yasmina. They have Alexander Vucic. Alexander Vucic is working for U.S. government. If you didn't know. He was given every, sim every single green light do whatever you want you can rape your own country just sign the signature for Kosovo independence that's what's expected from you and that's the deal we have dig into that shit that's gonna be more fun story for you and maybe you know we'll put you somewhere on the radar with this dude i don't think so you ever worked for new york <laughs> come on come on what, what did you do what did you do sell newspaper no shit so anyway, in response to queries from the Daily Beast, oh, Daily Beast, such a, such a fucked up news. University of California, Berkeley spokesman Dan Mogolov said the Chancellor Christ office had not received letters about Professor Vujic activities. The activities as described, if true, are outside the scope of the professor's employment with the university. Moglov said, Department of Energy did not respond to requests for comment. There you are, Mr. Reporter. Nice piece of work you did. They just answered it. It's none of your fucking business what she's doing in her private life. You see, this is not called fake news. It's fucked up news. Nothing to do, none of your business to know what somebody is working and participating in his private life. As long as he's doing a good job. And she's doing a good job. And she's not dishing money. She's making science. And you're just writing a shitty accusation from one source, at least two people, or somebody sent, or somebody mentioned. That's your piece. But Berkeley source could not help but wonder whether the professor ties to the far right could or should impact their ability to receive security clearance and funding from Department of Energy. It's li uh, it Quoting, it's really alarming for someone who is in position to shape the next generation of nuclear security scholars to hold such extremist views, said one of the individuals who requested anonymity for fear of professional retaliation. So what <laughs> kind of got me in this sentence, the next generation of nuclear security scholars. Well. Check this out. The best scholars of nuclear, sec uh, uh, nuclear security generation, nuclear security scholars, was those guys, you know, from Nazi party, Oppenheimer and everybody else. If you didn't learn, you know, how to seclude that, you know, I mean, I can help you, you know, for the future. And uh, I don't think so that she's preaching and, and talking about her activities, you know, to the students you know, or whatever. 
I know all her good work, you know, what she did to bring two people and community together, benefit work and those stuff. And you never mentioned none of those. And there is plenty to dig, which I'm not required, you know, to, to, to just right now underline because you don't give a shit anyway. <laughs> you try to make a damage, but you just, I don't know, spilled your beans, you know, I hope you paid for this or whatever, you know, whatever reason you were doing it. So, in application for clearance, DOE requests information about person association, past or present, with anyone associated with extremist ideology or organization, as well as involvement with foreign political parties. In this context, experts say that Vujic's involvement with the political party, at least ideologically linked to the nuclear power Russia, hostile to American strategic interests, is a major red flag from a counterintelligence perspective. Bam! Bam! Oh shit, man, what did you discover, man? That's amazing. That's amazing. You just... Ooh, I can smell Pulitzer Prize here. Or at least they're gonna take you back to New Yorker, New York Times, whatever. <laughs> It is the kind of thing that if it didn't come up in a clearance review, there'd be a problem with the process, said Alex Wallerstein, a professor of science and technology studies at the Stevens Institute of Technology. So you name him. The group that she is affiliated with that with sounds especially uh, wait a minute. the group that she is affiliated with sounds especially this distasteful distasteful and um, hey i agree it's distasteful but it's, it's a matter of taste you know somebody like this somebody like that you know so I, I can't really dig into that you know somebody like you know this way or that way so it can be distasteful or it can be or it can taste at least fair and square at least tell you how she tastes. <laughs> However, Wallerstein, Wallerstein, Wallerstein said the Department of Energy might still grant her a security clearance. You bet your fucking ass, man, she will grant her because she's a scientist. She's the best. You don't have better than she is. And that's the problem. You see, maybe somebody thinks that it's better than she is. And then she tries, you know, kind of to dig their way, you know, by, 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 you know, all this digital noise, you know, f fake fucking news and whatever it is. Or not view her political affiliation to be of concern if she didn't have access to particular sensitive information. I have no idea what kind of information she has. I don't know if she made something, you know, sensational like Nikola Tesla that she can sell to Russians or who knows what, you know, I mean, come on. Give me that, that new, you know, conspiracy story or whatever it is. Stephen Aftergood, the director of Federation of American Scientists, project on government secrecy, said dual citizens like Vujic are routinely vetted for their overseas contact and political affiliation as part of security review process. Ah, there you go. Maybe she work. Maybe she work as a secret agent, double agent. And you just fuck up, you know, the whole story, man. You know, I mean, you just ruined, you know, maybe they were on something. Maybe they're to overthrown uh, China, Russia, India, man, you know, and you just fucked it up, man, you know, with your story. Amazing. It's not automatically disqualifying. It is possible for people who hold dual citizenship to obtain a clearance but it involves additional layer of review, in particular from counter-intelligent perspective, said after good. Such scrutiny typically drills down on the political leanings and uh, allegiance of the person in question and whether there is a possibility they would use their position to work against the interests of the United States. That's the problem, dude. She works for United States. And if you discover otherwise, come up, come up with the story. 
but you have to understand she is the best among the others in Berkeley that Berkeley has and you're fucking up anyway uh, she was born uh, in Loznitsa you know and then uh, you know engineering University Belgrade uh, nuclear science doctorate University in Michigan mid 80s after graduating in 89 she worked on reactor analysis at the Argonne National Laboratory for three years before joining USC Berkeley faculty in 92 where she specialized in reactor design and security dude she will prevent Chernobyl she will prevent uh, F Fukushima man and you want to kind of what you know kind of <laughs> God, you're pathetic, man. Fucking pathetic, man. She lived in the U.S. for better part of three decades, which has kept strong ties to her home country, including its fractious internal politics. Archives of very websites show which served as the party vice president from 16 till 2019. She previously occupied the position of very political council where she her responsibility included outreach to the Serbian diaspora and fundraising. Very got its start 99 publication issued by Boško Bradovic who now serves as Very's leader uh, coalesced into formal political party in 2011 and riding wave of xenophobic sentiment prompted by 2015 global migration crisis won its first seat in Serbia parliament 2016. The party is part of a resurgent right-wing movement throughout European politics. For instance, members of VERI have recently met with alternative for Deutschland AFD and German far-right party to discuss political coordination and common ground. VERI not only oppose NATO, a popular stance in Serbia given NATO's role in 1999 bombing of Belgrade, you bet your fucking ass, but also membership in the European Union instead favoring a pro-Russian position shared by current government. You know what? I hate fucking all that thing, what very is seeking, looking, whatever it is. But my position is, yes, I'm anti-NATO, I'm peaceful guy, I'm anti-European Union, we want to be a sovereign country, like any other country, take care of the problem of that country. We from diaspora want to help, but we can't help because, you know, it, that's a colony of uh, either Germany or fucking US, uh, you know, long established policy. So tough luck, you know, we're losing, we're losing, but at least as long as we can talk, we'll talk, you know, so that that's where we at. And the Russians, you know what? I'm gonna tell you, Russians are sissies, man. You know, they're our brothers, but they're not helping. They're not putting money, they're not pouring. They're selling us, you know, some kind of, I don't know, fifth generation piece of shit of uh, armory or whatever it is that uh, probably we're gonna use in another bloody war. That is, uh, that's what's all about, you know, that Balkan long, long policy of US, you know, to create another shitty and bloody war. And that's it. That's it. You know, I don't know if they, if uh, Vary is getting any money, you know, they're, they're, they're f f from the Russians, you know. I mean, the Russians don't give a shit about Serbia, as far as I'm concerned. That's what I see. Otherwise, I would see differently. And the most money, you know, that's coming, it's pouring, you know, from the United States to European Union. And I have no idea why they're giving money, you know, to the country, to corrupt politicians. I really, how much is that Kosovo, man? You know, I mean, I mean, fuck, man, there's a lot of money. I, I, I have no idea, you know, the geopolitical st strategy, you know, what's all about. But you see, there is a sentiment, you know, what's right, what's wrong. So we speak from our heart. Yasmina Wuj speak from her heart. And she's saying the where she is. If she is against this or that, you know, do you think that she has a right to say such a thing? Do I have a right to speak my mind, just like you wrote your stuff, on which I'm replying, you know, hey, really, this, this, it's not even good, you know, for, uh, to replace toilet pa paper in, 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 I, I don't know what kind of emergency. That's it. It's really, really crap. But you see, again, we got a really nice, nice burden to carry through our future and uh, 
the problem is, you know, that uh, in that politics right now, they're using that uh, genocide denial, the denial of what happened in Srebrenica. And uh, 25 years ago, 8,000 Muslims were slaughtered in Srebrenica in July 1999, 1995 by Bosnian Serbs. No words, man, no words. Especially when you know that those people, you know, they had their loved ones, daughters, kids. I had a chance, you know, to interview one guy who participated in uh, slaughtering, you know, uh, some prisoners. And they look, you know, younger than 21. And my fellow Serbian did that. He's from uh, that scorpion thing, you know. I had, I, I had an interview with him. And I, I have no idea, you know, how to express empathy, whether of those people who were killed, looking into the last moment of the light, or the motherfucker, you know, who killed them, with no particular reason. So, the guy, you know, that died, you know, he's done, probably on better place. The guy that killed them, served some jail sentence, just one of few that sentenced to, to jail. There's so many, you know, who did the same thing that will never be sentenced, but they're sentenced to the rest of their life to live with the deeds that they did. And I'm talking, you know, from a Serbian standpoint. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna right now, you know, go, well, Croats did that, uh, Bosnians did that. They know what they did. They know what they did, and they didn't just stand, you know, and saying, you know, well, uh, shoot us and, and, and I'll sing a song. It's, it, it wasn't like that, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Ratko Mladic, you know, uh, Radovan Karadzic and all those things, losers. Losers. They lost the word, war, they, 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 they uh, did uh, dirty deeds. And they're criminals. They're criminals. Absolutely, they're criminals. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know. I, I I don't think so. You know that at proper court. But if they hang, you know, fuck it. You know, they did what they did. You know, so somebody else, you know, kind of hang them, not me. And uh, hey, everybody deserves what they were doing. If it's proven, more so more so but uh, again this guy this this writer of this piece is getting lost you know right now with Chetniks <laughs> the Chetniks you know he kind of described him as a uh, you know Hitler's you know collaborate collaborated and everything else and those are the Chetniks you know who save uh, US forces and they were lifted here as a heroes and uh, since they're with the Hitlers you know so now the Communist Party and Tito are the good guys. So this Ali is probably, I don't know, maybe socialist or communist, you know, glorifying Tito, either Tito or Chetniks, you know. So you, you never can make any good of none of those. There is, <laughs> I don't know, fucking shit, man. I have no idea, you know. But, you know, Chetniks did some good things. Chetniks did some good things. Even Hitler did some good things. He built the roads, you know, he established Volkswagen and everything else. But, you know, one was Nazi, you know, the other guys did not attack anybody. They were defending their motherland with their ideological beliefs. You know, the socialism, communism was in. It was kind of groovy at the time. It turned out, you know, they couldn't beat capitalism. And capitalism today is what? Huh? It's hard to say, you know, cap no, no more capitalism. You know, we have to kind of name it differently. How about some uh, bankingism, you know, whatever it is. But definitely, let me put it this way. Mladic and Wesley Clark, same shit, different package. You know, different armory, different uh, uh, modification. You know, this guy had much more budget. This guy had just crazy mind you know, going over there and, and, and fighting against the world. Because, you know, they said, we're gonna go right now and fuck up, you know, S Serb 
observe will be the bad people. After that, we'll see if we're gonna go after, how about your Iraq, how about uh, 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 Gaddafi and all those things. And, and I'm not saying, it's not me who is saying that, it's, it's fucking Wesley Clark who said that. The same piece of shit like uh, Madeleine Albright. They, they have blood on their hands as well, Bill Clinton. But you know, who gives a shit about that anyway? Um, so this piece that you're trying uh, to kind of portray some freedom of mind, freedom of speech, freedom of uh, expressing, it's amazing. You see, you have right now United States that's so divided in which some black life matters and you have uh, white supremacy in 21st century. Is that what we supposed to talk about it? Well, I think if we're talking about that, you know, I'm sure you know that uh, scientists like uh, Yasmina Vujic has right to talk about her belief. And we talk about gay rights, gay activities. I have a gay uh, uh, member in my family. I support gay, uh, all activities, everything, everything about them, all rights. So I'm so far away from Dvery in that instance, but I absolutely support their reasoning uh, because that's what they believe in. And I have to be honest with that. I can't run away from that because that's exactly what's happening here in United States on the street. The same shit, the same shit. It's gonna be time, you know, when people are gonna go against the other people, whether it's ethnicity, whether it's this, that. So that's how far we are. So, Yasmina Vujic, it's uh, one of many best thing that came after Nikola Tesla as an immigrant in this country and made this country great. And when we talk about uh, Serbia and we talk about all that bloodshed that happened, obviously it will never go away. Um, it's okay where you say that, um, where did you say? That in public letter in April, 2019, Dr. Emir Ramic, a Canadian academic of Bosnian ancestry, called on USC Berkeley Chancellor Office to re-examine which tenure and work at US Berkeley. I guess work is work, man, you know, and, uh, and uh, everything else is out of work. So why, why would you take away somebody? I mean, there is all that shit, you know, somebody said, said something and that they take away sponsorship uh, from some people, you know, if they say something nasty and all those things. We're so sensitive, man. Unbelievable, we're so sensitive. And he's saying, you know, her activities and activities of the realization she actively leads and support has disturbed many American Bosnians who, su who survived the Serbian aggression and genocide, Ramic Leather said. And that's understandable, it's one way street. But uh, did uh, Mr. Ramic acknowledge, like I'm uh, saying, you know, right now from the Serbian side, the Bosnian side did so many atrocities that somehow is under carpet. I'm not trying, you know, to pull him out. I'm just saying is, uh, are you fair standing in that quote? It's one-sided aggression. That's a bullshit. In the letter continue, we are astounded by the knowledge that world-renowned expert in nuclear engineering, such as Dr. Vujic, is actively engaged in financing and lobbying activities of the extreme and nationalistic Serbian movements that have committed great crimes both in World War II and in the aggression and genocide in Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
That's a lie. That's a pure and simple lie. Mr. Ramic, you fucked up with this last sentence. You fucked up with the last sentence. I'm sure that you support uh, Nasser Orich, and I'm sure you support, you know, your leaders who took you into the this war. And I don't know if you support other crimes that was done from your side, Croat sides, but you're just looking at the Serbian sides. And that will not resolve nothing, not even my this debate on this piece of shit of this journalistic work of uh, this young dude, Ali Winston. Nice try. Nice try, man.